So now you're checking. So now you're checking for the TV, to is local underscore TV equals game wait for a child dot TV, which is the name of the TV right here dot TV. So now you have your variables for finding the game and the TV. So now inside of these lines, you're going to have your keys. So now these are the keys that are used to make the controller work. So now you have local up. Actually, let's do it. Let's do it the same way. Local left equals a local right equals D local down equals S and local up equals W local enter equals E and local quit equals Q enter and quit is what we put on the screen it says press E to start game and press Q to quit game so now you have local enter equals E and now and quit equals Q so right now you pretty much don't need the left right down and up locals because they're not really needed for this game that's just something I was showing so now you just take that out and that's all you need so now you have now you have your variables for your keys now to connect it you put if if key which is mouse dot key down function key if key the key you're pressing is equal to enter then just leave that blank and else if key is equal to quit then now that's the basic of the mouse dot key the mouse dot key down function now at the end this is where you put it where let's say you put it where the script is destroyed once once there is there's no controller anymore so now I already have it set up as to where you pretty much don't need to type that in because it's a long line of script so basically all you have to do is just get one of these other one of these discs like space defense go inside the game GUI the players button script and click on either one of these and now you just clone this this function not a function the loop right here clone that and paste it into here and that makes sure that and it makes sure if the player has a controller, if the player doesn't have a controller, then he can't he's can't be controlling the the GUI because exactly he doesn't have a controller. So so now you can destroy this. You don't need it anymore. So now you have your menu script. So now in order to make the console work, this is where it comes in. You insert a remote event inside of the functions folder like that now for the remote events what we're going to do for the star script is we're going to take all of the functions that's inside of the functions folder and put it inside of the main models functions folder which is right here and now if, and for the sounds you're going to put it inside of the screen so now go into your star script and now you will connect it to the main model script.gui.mainframe.gui.screen.tv.mainmodel dot 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 rbs4 so now you do tv equals main model two brackets dot tv and dot console equals name model dot console. So now all you have to do now is put wait three 
you're just waiting for the game. So now you do for i underscore v in pairs. First you have to put local gy equals script dot parent. That's the game gy. So I'm gonna do gui dot functions get children do. So now all you have to do for this is do local a equals any variable a b c d do a equals v clone and now you do a dot parent equals the main model dot functions which is this folder right here it will insert it inside of this folder right here now you do a dot event script dot disabled equals false the event script is what makes the remote function works not remote function the remote event works so I have to do just click on the remote event and insert the script and name it event script now for the event script this is how remote events work you with the with the local the local script which is the menu.p1 script it can the remote event can only be called from the local scripts as so you put main model dot functions not main model dot Gain underscore gain dot functions dot I'm going to rename this remote event to game menu not game menu event game event just name a game event and now you do game event fire server you're connecting it to the server and now you do So now we're going to do P1, which is the type of player he is, and colon, enter. Now you do the same thing for the quit. You do game dot functions dot game event fire server P1 and quit. So now that's how you fire the server to the remote event. So now in the event script, you will put, you will connect it to the main model as every script. You do script.parent. So remember it's going to be in the function script, which is right here. So now you put script.parent, which is the functions, and dot main model is RBS4. And now for the TV, you have main model brackets dot tv and now you have the console main model brackets dot console so now to connect it to the local script you have to do script dot parent dot on server event which is where it's being fired to the server, so it's on the server event. That's self-explanatory. I do colon connect function p, which is the local player that fired the server. You do p, which is not needed, so it's just, it's just p. Colon type type is the type of player that sent it and button the button that they pressed and enter so now the type button you have p1 which is the type which is right there and enter which is the button that he pressed right there so that's basically how to get your your function your remote event set up and get your local and players button script set up and your star script so thank you guys for watching this part 2 video of how to make a game for the RBS console.
like and comment if you have any problems. I'll get back to you about that. And thanks for watching. Peace.